We're here working on some self-defense and break falls and technical stand-up today. So, uh, break fall, you can start standing all the way up. I actually recommend starting sitting down a little bit more just to get the timing. So I'm gonna turn sideways. We're gonna sit all the way down from here. Um, the main thing is we wanna, especially when we're starting to take a fall, is learn how to spread that impact out on a larger area. So I don't wanna fall back and let my hands go first, because if I were to take this from a height, I'm now gonna either fracture my wrist or break my wrist because all that weight's going into my hands. It's not designed to do that, especially in my wrist, support that much weight. So when I go down, I like to have my arms crossed. You can start just kind of like from a sit-up position and then I'm gonna lean back and I wanna hit the ground right when my upper shoulders are hitting the ground, but I wanna keep my chin tucked. I don't wanna let my head reach down because right now I'm on nice, soft, comfortable mats. But if I were to have to do this outside on the concrete and I hit my head, it's gonna hurt really bad. So from here, as I'm sitting up, there's a good way to practice. Just reach back, hit, and then bring your arms back. Don't hit and then leave them there, nor do you wanna hit with the back of your hands because this is gonna hurt very badly if you have to do this outside in the concrete. So I wanna hit with my palms, just spread that weight out for a split second, and then come back up to here. Once I get comfortable here, then I'm going to sit up almost like I'm playing catcher in softball or baseball. Then I'm gonna roll back, I'm gonna hit, and then if you look at my legs, I wanna try to keep at least one foot on the ground and lift my hips up. Uh, you're gonna see this, this is very common. You're gonna roll back, you're gonna hit, and then your feet come up. Now I controlled my body a little bit more, but if you take a really fast push, either you're gonna roll all the way over or your head's still gonna hit the ground. So I wanna control that fall with one foot. It doesn't matter which, whatever you're comfortable with, but once I roll back, I do that break fall, hit, and then one foot stays on the ground. This foot is up chambered because I'm ready to kick. Because if that person keeps coming after me, I want to be ready to defend myself. The other thing is I can also move on the ground. So if I keep one foot on the ground, it's easy for me to spin around if someone's trying to get around for me. If neither feet are on the ground, now when someone starts to try to move me, if I try to move, I'm a lot slower. It's a lot harder to get there. But I can, if one foot's on the ground, I can use this foot to stop, check distance, start trying to trip. I can use it to strike. There's a lot of things I can do with this foot on the ground. And then as you get more comfortable with this, then you're just gonna wanna stand all the way up. Now the big thing with the timing is don't let your arms go out first. I like to just take kind of a step or two back, like a bump, and then I wanna hit, and now my hands are up here, and I'm ready to kick. So from here, technical stand up. I'm gonna switch feet just so you guys can see a little easier. I'm gonna sit up. If my right foot is on the mat or on the ground, my left hand opposite is gonna go down. This hand is up protecting my face just in case they try to come and strike. And I'm still have this leg ready chamber to kick because I wanna make sure that if they start coming, I can fall back down, I can kick, I can defend myself. But I come up, I pop up, so my weight is up, and then I take this foot and I slide it all the way back and then I create that distance. That's our technical standard. So the whole self-defense, someone shoves you or maybe you're just walking backwards and you trip, you wanna make sure that you break up. I protect myself, I stand up, I do my technical stand up, and then I'm back up able to defend myself from the ground. So make sure you guys practice both sides with that technical stand up. And then the big thing is just gonna be the timing on the break fall. You don't want this to go out too soon, nor do you want it to be too late. You wanna be right on time. Good luck with that, train hard, and remember, become better than you are today. Thank you guys for watching our videos. We hope you enjoyed it. There's gonna be a couple extra videos right over here. Uh, the subscribe button is right up here. Make sure you hit that and then hit the notification button so you get notified when new videos come out. Like our videos, share our videos with your friends. Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. If there's any questions or any videos you would like us to make, drop that down below as well. And we look forward to helping you become better than you are today.